Hi students, today I am going to teach you the new lesson Acids, Bases and Salt Acids, Bases and Salt What do you mean by an acid? Or what is an acid? Acids are substances that furnishes H plus ions when treated with water Acids are substances that produces H plus ion when treated with water. Acids are generally sour in taste. It turns blue liquids to red. Acids are generally sour in taste and it turns blue liquids to red. In an aqueous solution, if the concentration of acid is low in an aqueous solution if the concentration of acid is low it is known as dilute acid whereas if the concentration of acid is high in an aqueous solution we say it is a concentrated acid I repeat it in an aqueous solution if the concentration of acid is low, it is dilute acid. Whereas, if the concentration of acid is high in an aqueous solution, it is a concentrated acid. What are bases? Or what do you mean by base? Bases are substances that produces OH minus ion when treated with water. We told acids are substances that furnishes or produces H plus ions when treated with water, whereas bases are substances which produces OH minus ions when treated with water. Bases are bitter in taste, whereas acid was sour in taste. Bases turns red litmus to blue. Bases turns red litmus to blue. Next topic what we have to learn is are about indicators. What are indicators? Indicators are chemical substances which give different characteristic color or in some cases even order smell. In acidic or basic solution, indicators are chemical substances which give characteristic color in acidic or basic solution. Example, litmus solution or paper. Litmus solution turns red in acidic solution. Litmus solution turns red in acidic solution whereas it turns blue in basic solution litmus solution turns red in acidic solution whereas it turns litmus solution turns to blue in basic solution okay we'll go to the next example of indicator phenolphthalein phenolphthalein indicator when as if we add phenolphthalein drops to acidic solution it doesn't have any characteristic change or we say it is colorless okay it doesn't change there is no color change there when you add phenolphthalein to acid whereas if you add few drops of phenolphthalein to basic solution the solution turns to pink in color Okay, when phenolphthalein is added to phenolphthalein is added to basic solution, the solution turns pink in color. So it indicates the presence of base. If you take test to A, test to B, the test to A with acidic solution and test to B with basic solution, if you add to both the test tube few drops of phenolphthalein, test tube A will not show any color. 
because it contains acid whereas if we add to test tube B it changes to pink in color which indicates the presence of base next example for indicator is methyl orange methyl orange when you add it to acidic solution we get pink color so methyl orange when you add few drops of methyl orange to acidic solution it gives pink in color whereas if you add to basic solution if you add few drops of methyl orange to basic solution it gives yellow color okay the next topic is natural indicators so we talked about indicators then what are natural indicators and their examples natural indicators are indicators which are found in nature that is mainly obtained from plants i repeat it natural indicators are indicators found in nature mainly obtained mainly that is they are obtained from plants for example we discussed about litmus litmus is actually extracted from nature and then other examples are red cabbage and turmeric we have seen what changes happen take place in a uh, uh, litmus we will discuss about red cabbage and uh, turmeric no turmeric isn't it Hadi. ok red cabbage when you add red cabbage to an acidic solution there is no change that red color is persisting there so there is no change in that red color but if you add this red cabbage to a basic solution the color is being faded off and we obtain green cabbage ok the red color is being removed off and the uh, color becomes green so that is what we obtain uh, what is, that is what the change we see when we use the red cabbage whereas in turmeric in acidic solution turmeric doesn't have any uh, change that is that persistent that, uh, yellow color itself is persisting there and whereas if you add to basic solution this yellow color changes to red color when you see while eating if anything falls curry and all falls on your white uh, dress that yellow color of the turmeric when you use the soap which contains base it changes to red, reddish color so that is because of the uh, turmeric present there which is a natural example for natural indicator next topic is olfactory indicators olfactory is something connected to all as well ok substances which have different order in acidic as well as basic solutions are olfactory indicators examples are clove oil then we have vanilla extract then we have red onion I will repeat the examples clove oil, red onion and vanilla extract ok olfactory indicators are substances which have different order in acidic as well as basic solution so what they ha happens here is whatever example I have given whether it is clove oil or red onion or vanilla essence they all loses its characteristic smell if we add, if, uh, add a basic solution to it they all, all these uh, what you say olfactory indicators loses their characteristic smell when we add basic solution to it whereas if acidic solution is being added it retains its smell ok, it retains its smell in acidic solution for example if you add clove oil to a test tube, you add acidic solution to it and you smell, you will feel the smell of clove. Whereas if you add basic solution to it, the, the characteristic, characteristic smell of the clove oil is being lost. Okay? So this is olfactory indicators. Now we will go for how you classify the main classification of acid. Earlier we have seen classification as dilute solution and concentrated solution. Now we can classify it as organic acid as well as mineral acids. Organic acid, which are derived from earlier, which was only derived from uh, what is say living things. Examples are oxalic acid, which we see in tomato, lactic acid in curd, we see formic acid in and white or uh, nettle leaves 
or what you say in uh, honey base and all we say formic acid which is having IUPAC name as methanoic acid both are same formic acid and methanoic acid tartaric acid in tamarind okay and acetic acid in vinegar and we have citric acid in citric fruits like lemon etc okay these are examples for organic acids okay then mineral acids mineral acids are derived from minerals they are also known as inorganic acids for example hydrochloric acid HCl nitric acid HNO3 sulfuric acid H2SO4 etc hi students this was the part 1 video for this chapter as its basis and stuff. I'll be soon coming up with the next video for this chapter. If you have any doubt, you can just watch up link to my number. Please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you. Namaste.